Hey, this is Farmer Teacher on Farming Simulator 22. This is our Let's Play series, Ou Beleron, Ou Beleron. And we're up to number 12. Uh, it is July. If you look at our map here, we have to harvest our canola and our grass is ready to cut again too. And we got our guy there cultivating our barley field. Uh, before we do the canola, let me jump out here real quick. Look at this. We have some eggs. Uh, got a little pin there. You know, our animal pin. So we have our 60 chickens, our five roosters. Uh, so their health is good. Their pro productivity is good. They're making eggs. And hopefully they will reproduce here at some point. And there you go. So that's, that's up and running. We're going to harvest this. Get him going on the canola. Well, you know what? I'm going to go to the back of the field and cut a path there because if you don't, at some point, I'm going to try to cut these trees down once I get ahead a little. Maybe when I get another field. Just makes it a little easier. Might pick up a little extra cash. Well, can't quite go all the way back. Put another one in there, just so they can turn around a little easier. And we'll probably, oops, probably do one at the top too. Excited about our chickens. Wrong button. Top or not? We'll see how he does. Might need to. I think I will. So I can bump into my greenhouses or my house there. Let's see you go. I 
looks like it's not quite square. It's actually moving over just a little bit, but that's okay. Like Squared it up, it works a little better. I could start it right there, but I'm just, I like to start over here. So when I'm done cultivating, I'm going to start cultivating this. off let's check on make sure everything's fertilized okay these are ours everything's good so I gotta do grass what am I gonna use how about this one see we're waiting in the front yes he does Drop off the weight. If you ever try to drop something off and it doesn't work and you're on console, you just have to hit Y to switch over to the other item. Same thing, picking these up when I go to lower one and I hit Y, lower the other one. Alrighty. Get him down here. Start cutting some grass. Lower one. Why? Lower the other one. Cutting grass. Okay, let's check my greenhouses. We may need just a little bit of water. Not much, I guess. Just like to keep them topped off, it's a whole lot easier. back to my handy well here. It's so convenient. I used to run all the way down to the water source, which takes a minute. Hit the button, let him fill back up. Okay, we're going to need our wind rower. I'm using him. I guess it'll be him. You remember in the other episode we got maybe a couple episodes ago we got rid of our weakest tractor the styor pardon me pardon me whoa well i had an opening This little Massey Ferguson does pretty good. That 3670, they're quite common in Farming Simulator 22 games. Has 170 horsepower. It is not upgradable though. So you're stuck with 170. So it's not my first choice, but it does the job for a lot of different tasks. It's a medium sized tractor, as opposed to a small. I just had another video on the Horsch Agrovation 
map and it comes with some very large equipment um, smallest tractor is 300 something horsepower so you should check that out pretty big um, big map big fields <laughs> lots of money uh, big equipment that also means lots of maintenance go we are wind rowing isn't that cool okay so we're gonna let these guys run harvesting wind rowing cutting so how many tractors left no okay, nothing left to run my trailer I guess I have to use him in the meantime do a little double duty here. I could use another small tractor. I'll just park it right here. Let me see how this joker's doing. Still a ways to go. Alright, we'll let these run. Oops, and we'll be back here shortly. Hey, we're back. All our equipment is, uh, all our tractors are running. So what I'm going to do is just stop this guy and run it up here and dump it in the silo because it's right here. Pretty convenient. So it's cool that I can do that. I guess I got enough room between the greenhouses and it. Let's see. Hopefully this will work. You got some stuff in the way. I was close. Almost didn't have enough room. So we got our guy cultivating over there because you have to plant canola the month after you harvest it, at least on the regular maps. Some of the maps are a little different. But on this one, I harvest it in July. I got to plant in August. So that's it. At least I know that'll work. Checking our others real quick. So he's wind rowing pretty good. And our guy is done there. So next time I'll have something freed up for uh, the trailer. Of course I could. I need to go start bailing that stuff because that takes a minute. So maybe I won't. I think when my wind rower is done, I'll have a trailer. I think that's what I'm going to do. Once again, you got to hit Y, 
switch to the other one. See if I can pick up my weight here without running over it. You gotta be careful, you run over these things and you make a mess. I think I have it, yeah. Let's go down and get our baler. Pretty good little tractor here, this Valtra has 190 horsepower, medium sized tractor, runs well, goes like 26, 27 miles an hour. I think it's my fastest one. Well the new one might, the new Massey Ferguson might be faster. Going through the gears. Pick up, turn it on, and we are picking up grass, making bales, and wrapping bales. Oops, once you hit 100%, I wouldn't pay attention. You gotta back up, if you don't lose a little strip of grass there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bail this. Check on my harvester, we'll be back. Our wind rower is done. So we are gonna put him up. And use this uh, tractor for the trailer, I guess. So I don't have to move my harvester again. Sorry, just making sure what tractor I was in. To be sure, to be sure. Don't want to necessarily guess. See our harvester going away. He's in the second field of canola right there. harvester get away a little bit before I move my cultivator because he's too close but this guy can go to the trailer okay we'll be back okay we're still uh, harvesting our canola but we are done with our silage grass right now it will be silage in a day, in a month or two and we are picking that up. If you've ever used a front end loader, this bell loader is so much easier. I played around with a vintage farm where all I had was a 
front end loader for a while and it was a little difficult. Okay, we're going to pick all this up. We'll be back. We have gotten all the grass up, the silage, or grass, wrapped grass, soon to be silage. We have collected all of that. We got to fertilize this field again. Now I'm looking at my, I have two bale collectors. I may need to get another one. I could store it just on the ground somewhere, but uh, not really sure about that. So I would rather have it on the bale collectors. And once you get them, you use them right on for a particular field for silage. So I may just uh, do that for now, get another one. I have about 70,000 in borrowing power, I think, somewhere close, maybe 60. So we'll let him, let's check on these guys. Oh, it looks like our guy's done. Let's collect that. Okay, we'll be back here when we're done. Okay, so I was looking at our cultivator there. It's uh, relatively small for the one we have. Is that one. You only need 160 horsepower to pull that, so any of my tractors can pull it, and I'm doing it with a big tractor right now. Make sure this is my, uh, yeah, that's my most powerful tractor with 220 horsepower, so I'm gonna I need that for the cedar, so what I'm going to do is take this 190 horsepower tractor, hook that up and let him continue cultivating because I'm almost done with the harvest. So what I'm going to do is let him continue to cultivate, hook up my cedar and get ready for the next month because I have to plant canola. And that's the plan. So get him going again. And our harvester is done. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. All the canola is collected. The uh, field is almost done cultivating. He's still running. It is now August, and it's time to seed our canola reseed it so we're going to do that but i wanted to show you the chickens uh, they are making eggs and lo and behold they have reproduced we have 60 more chickens if you remember we had 60 hens and five roosters now we have 120 hens so the new ones are uh, zero months old they just showed up uh, so they're you know they got to grow up so they can make eggs and all that but uh, they are moving along, so just want to show you the eggs. So we have, uh, you know, pretty good little chunk of eggs there. We're going to go seed this, and that's it for this episode. We'll catch you next time. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.